stop the recording. Okay, hi everybody, welcome to the latest Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. So I've got the agenda up here and uh, we'll get going with looking at the previous actions. Um, so this time looks like they're pretty much done. So we had some fixes for the Contributor Summit so people could register, um, getting these videos uploaded and on the playlist. Um, and we've also got a rough time next week um, for the demos for GSOC and Outreachy. Uh, Oleg Sensi's apologies, um, but he did give share that update. Okay, so then I think this week there's a big focus on kind of the Contributor Summit, DevOps World, Jenkins World. So just starting with the Contributor Summit, uh, I had a quick look before the meeting and we've got about 19 folks signed up and that's just from the Jenkins community. I think we have another 20 or so folks signed up from Tecton and Jenkins X. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I just wanted to open it up to, I think we had some kind of rough, we started thinking through some ideas for the Contributor Summit. So is there anything else people want to, any more thoughts or any things you want to remind us of? We're going to start, I guess, putting the agenda for that together soon. In terms of agenda for the Contributor Summit, we're speaking about the event on Monday, the 12th of August. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is a more detailed agenda than the current agenda we have in terms of who's speaking and what they'll be speaking yes. on. Yes. Yeah. So it might not necessarily be what we share, like, um, but it, it will be the specifics of who are we asking to speak, who's opening the session. Okay. Um, are we coordinating with other communities to come talk a bit about stuff, are the GSOC folks presenting, you know, who's presenting when and what should we tell them to expect? Okay. And how much of that communication still remains in terms of inviting people who are going to be speaking at the summit? Um, I don't think we're inviting, like I think the people who will be speaking are typically the people who will be there. The okay. only ones I explicitly reached out to um, were Kasuki. Uh, just to make sure he was there and um, yeah. asked him what he, well, give him a couple of options on things to speak about. And um, uh, Tyler Croy, who I think cannot make it for the Contributor Summit. So apparently he's got, yeah. Okay. But he is doing a talk at the main conference, but I think that there's a conflict on that day. So if there's anyone else... Um, we think we should be explicitly reaching out to let me know and I can email them. Okay. So, yeah. Um, we might sort of take it for granted. They've always been there and they'll register and show up, but maybe we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I guess the other side of the agenda, you know, if we're talking about some warm up stuff like the, you know, get to know people or icebreakers. Um, we should just start thinking that through and add it to the agenda. Okay. Or at least add it to our, our plan for the day. Okay, but uh, yeah, no, otherwise keep uh, promoting and letting people know. So then on to DevOps World, Jenkins World. Um, big theme is the 15 years of Jenkins. And I just want I think there's lots of exciting things with the keynote, with some special swag. Um, so any ideas there? I was thinking maybe I can write a blog post to go on Jenkins.io just sort of saying, hey, we're going to be celebrating 15 years, and that might be quite reasonably popular. So just let people know, and if they want to come up with ideas or send congratulations, that could be fun. And community booth, that's, Alyssa, do you want to say a bit more? share with how that's shaped up um yeah so the uh the design of the booth is is done so the messaging around that will, will also have a big signage that that um says the 15 years and then um the subheading messaging will be around jenkins and jenkins um 
Sorry, Alyssa, yes, a bit on the low side. Okay, sorry. Oh, how, how's this? <laughs> okay, yeah, better. Um, so, the, so we'll have the 15 year signage at the booth as well as um, Jenkins and Jenkins X. We will also have a t shirt that is um, also 15 years. So I think we will have just a limited small number of t shirts. Not a cool. whole lot to pass out to everybody. Um, I mean, I think it would be great if we have like stickers as well, but um, I just need somebody to help me work on that because I don't think I have the bandwidth for that. Or maybe I can just use the image from Commit Strip and turn that into a stick sticker if it turns out nice. Yeah, maybe we can check in with Oleg or the, any other one, anyone else in the community who might like to design something. Yeah. So the, the image that you're referring to, is that the image that will be on the t-shirt? The, um, from commit strip that I included you in the email, like the butler popping out of the cake. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay. That's, okay. that's the one I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah. That's a really good image. That's fun. Oh, I didn't realize that were, um, from commit strip. Cool. It's not confirmed. So that was just an initial draft from commit strip. Cool. Uh, yeah, if we could match uh, those with some limited edition stickers or just a little pile, that'd be fun. Yeah. Cool. Um, great. And yeah, we've got a blog post advertising the community booth demo, so that's that's good to see that go up. Okay, so um, the CDF booth, um, I was going to mention this and I think I'll, I'll stick it in the Gitter channels as well so people see it, but that we could also do with some more Jenkins content. So the folks at Google, Craig and Gayathri are going to demo uh, the GKE plugins with Jenkins, um, but I'll reach out to other folks who'll be at the conference and see if they also are available to repeat their demos at the CDF booth just to give Jenkins some extra coverage. The GKE plugins, are they for Jenkins or for Jenkins X or for both? For Jenkins. For Jenkins, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the last topic I had was on the community bridge update. Um, this is a platform where you can kind of do GSOC as a service and we've now, we're so, sort of slowly progressing it. We've now got a page, um, like a placeholder where Jenkins can collect funding um, to fund different projects. Uh, but I'm meeting with the folks behind Community Bridge just to understand uh, like how the donations work, is there anything else we need to do? And then Oleg Scott, um, he's going to look into some, a test mentor student pairing but potentially who can um, try out the the whole platform see how it works and see if it's something uh, we can use going forward just to encourage more contributors okay so yeah i'll update following my meeting later today okay so that's everything i have from my side does anybody else have anything to share discuss or throw out the CDF track. Oh, yeah. Um, how are we doing with that? Then do you think we'll need both Wednesday and Thursday? Um, yeah, we just have a few talks. I'm reaching out to some more folks, but it doesn't look like we necessarily need the Thursday. Like we might at this point struggle to fill um, CDF talks on Thursday. Okay, so so should we just go ahead and make the decision just to uh, just do one day Wednesday? Uh, I expect so. If that simplifies life. Yeah, we're kind of coming down to the wire. Yeah. So. Um, I guess we have the deadline of I'm telling most people by next Tuesday we need to know and potentially like I had told people they could just do 20 minute presentations so Perhaps some could be expanded to full slots, but uh, um, yeah, I think by next Tuesday, that's it. If we don't really have 
whoever we have, we have. Okay. All right. So I won't say anything to them until next Tuesday then? Yeah. Okay. Will we then, in effect, have um, another room, like another room available on Thursday for another track? Well, yes. Okay. Would we be interested in doing like an open space track? Oh, uh, yeah, say more. I, I think I've done one open space, but can you describe it? So I see if I'm on the right track and. Yeah, what is that like? So usually what would happen is that we would put up literally like either a whiteboard or lots of white sheets and um, people can start a couple of days in advance filling in the hours in which they'd like to speak or half an hour. And I've been at conferences where they really range very widely. So it'll be, it could be a conference level talk that for whatever reason, the individual doesn't want to have recorded or wasn't chosen for the conference, but really wants to talk about their projects or what they're really passionate about. Um, I've also seen it where someone was like, we're going to use my session as a break and we're all going to play Mario Kart together for half an hour. <laughs> and that went over really well. So, <laughs> you know. And does it have a topic attached to it typically or is it just called open space track? Open space track. And, and it is, um, it is free form. It's for the community to like come up with the talks that they want to give. So it's, it's putting a lot of trust in the community, but, um, I've seen it be really fun and really enjoyable. And it's kind of nice. You get a lot more variety in, in the talks. So have you seen this mainly like at open source events or um, sponsored events? Yeah, well, I mean, most conferences are sponsored, but not, not to the extent that this um, ours is. But uh, at EuroPython, they had it, and it went over very well. They had it for the whole conference, so over all the days. Um, I've, I've seen other open space days just being run as an open space day and they're always really fun. Like people, people generally will come up with things and, and it will be relevant to, to the community. Like they will be sharing the technology, they will be sharing their passions and, and it can be quite varied. It can be also, you know, dealing with burnout, dealing with, you know, managing up or managing down. It can be all sorts of talks, but we just leave it open. I mean, we could reserve the right to edit what shows up in that list but um, that, that would depend on how we want to structure it if we're interested in running an open space. Yeah, I think that could potentially work well, especially if we do it like one for each project in the CDF. So we have a, a Jenkins open space track and we kind of use that as a way to get all the Jenkins folks together. Um, like it's sort of similar to, to when we did it at FOSDEM and then just lots of people came together and then everybody just ended up talking about pipelines. It was just like, we've got all this stuff about pipelines and we just want to yeah. discuss it. Uh, yeah. So let me, that could be a good way to just have space that just kind of pulls in all the people at the conference who are interested in those projects. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I will take a note. I think, yeah, maybe if I sync with you on that, Kara, what I would suggest we do is if we can do it per project, but we ask like maybe the project leads, like maybe we can talk to Koske yeah. or some of the other folks and just sort of say, hey, you know, if you commit to being in the room at that time, everyone will show up. <laughs> like, um, you know, kind of use that as a way to say, and then they can just have open discussions around whatever pipelines or kind of building community or whatever and it's almost like some of the stuff we do in the contributor summit but open to the whole conference yeah cool great um, okay yeah let me think um i'll put an action here Trace. perfect okay anything else Okay, we'll keep it light today and yeah, we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks everybody. See ya. Oh, hi. Hang on, Parker, go ahead. Oh, was that a goodbye? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Oh.